hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Maurice dimba and today i'm going to show you how to lay or fix formwork on a concrete wall using a special tool in tecla structures and today our sample project is a concrete underground water tank and uh, we'll get started right away if you take a look on the screen we have some uh, we have a grid already in place but is not marked to 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 proper dimensions of our uh, of our underground water tank but we'll just work with it now we'll start we'll first of all give out the profile of our of our water tank so that when we lay the form formwork the formwork will just follow the profile first of all because we, you can't p uh, p uh, place your formwork without giving out the profile of your of your wall or uh, or, or your tank now uh, i'll first of all do that i'll come to concrete here and uh, i'll pick on this i'll pick on pad footing and i want to place it right there i'll click ok and i want to turn this in a in a proper position i'll uh, let me just change this delete that and uh, change my x y z axis i'll come here and uh, change it take it to global position then i'll come back here and uh, just place one there now i'll move this from this position here and just place it in appropriate position right there and uh, this is the bottom end of our un underground water tank now we want to mark uh the our uh, our walls our concrete walls to do that I'll come to edit here just to work with points in uh, locating where our uh, our walls will start. I'll come to a at any position here and uh, I'll snap right on that spot. And uh, what I'll do is we'll just select on that point, right click and come to a special copy here. I want to give it an, an offset of, of, of 900 millimeter. I'll change that first of all so that it doesn't interfere with our offset. Now, I'll prior to offsetting this point, I'll check the position of x axis, x y z axis. It's pointing on, it's pointing at me, but our, our our movement of this point will be on that direction, which is opposite. Now, what we'll do, we'll just prefix this dimension the, with the with the negative sign. Then uh, we'll just click copy. But still in the opposite direction because we've not placed that on the y axis we've placed that on the y axis what do we do we just click here and do then uh, uh, cut paste this on, uh, on 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 the x axis and do the same thing you'll find yourself doing the right thing now then we want to copy this click on that and click it and uh, paste it here we've pasted that, uh, that one there then click on this once again and come to special copy then uh, come to the y-axis now you can uh, cut paste this here then click ok here we are and do the same thing here though we should have done this we, we should have done that on the, uh, at this end and we can do just the same thing but now we we can we can remove this uh, negative sign here perfect and we are good to go first of all we want to place this in a position that we can uh, copy it then i'll pick this from this position here I'll pick this from this position then first of all check the other end it's okay and I'll pick this, select that, right click and come to special copy and I'll pick it. Now we don't need to do that now because we have these two points in place. Now what we want to do is just to mirror the, these two points, this point and this point here. To do that, we'll come to new, uh, I mean to view and uh, come to work plane tool and we'll place our work plane tool right here and pick on this point here and press control and come to this point here then right click and come to special copy pick on mirror then pick the midpoint here our midpoint is right here and this is the point we'll use as, a, as our mirror point we'll place our mirror here and uh, stretch all the way to the bottom end here you can see the angle is 90 and click copy zoom out to check whether your points are best placed 
in the position that we intended them to be on actually this is the point because we wanted our wall to have an a slight offset from the edge of uh, from the edge of the bottom slab of our tank now i'll come back to, co to concrete here and uh, i want to use pa wall panels i'll come to panels here and pick on the panels now i want a wall from that point stretching all the way to this point here i'll press my milled button to, to terminate that command that will uh, that will uh, uh, will bring up our wall then i'll press my milled button here that but it is in the opposite direction i'll double click on it then uh, i'll change the the rotation here by either picking back or below let me just uh, pick top it's not responding front it's okay but not properly placed we can bring that to left and there we are it is now in the best position here slightly off the point we can double click on that once again and uh, give it a right position and try to see whether that will work no we'll give it the front or the behind that works much better now we come to panel again and pick on the panel and uh, we'll snap on that spot and snap right here and press our middle button on the mouse and we terminate it right there don't mind about the clash this just uh, this just to make our reinforcement when placing the rebars this will work much better for us and uh, when you place our our formwork it will work much better for us now let me come back to view and i want to rotate this i'll pick on that spot and turn this while pressing my middle button on the mouse now i'll right click here and come to uh, concrete and pick on the panel and pick on the panel right there and snap on this point i'll stretch all the way to this point right here and terminate he terminate it here by pressing my middle button on the mouse and that's all i'll rotate it once again and uh, clear with the remaining part i'll come here on the panel and uh, select that point and stretch to this point right there and press my middle button on the mouse and I click that it has gone to to the wrong direction but should, should not be a, a big issue i'll come here and uh, give it a right position and that's it there it is and we can bring it we can slightly push it inside or we can push it manually either by uh, selecting on it and uh, clicking move and uh, picking on that spot and take it inside right there click on empty screen to deselect what you've just done to clicking on empty screen uh, deselects your previous selection now this is what we have as our underground water tank though we should have some uh, some uh, columns running uh, from the center with some beams running across to support the top slab that will be closing our tank but f the key issue here i want to show you first of all how to place the formwork and using the special tool in tecla structures and now i'll do i'll close that right click and uh, let me just turn it round by by clicking rotate with mouse and, pr and uh, left pressing my mouse and you'll be able to turn this con uh, without any headache now i'll come to applications and components here and i'll click on that and uh, i'll select on the wall formwork and prior to that let's first of all place our reinforcement here want to place our rebar first prior to placing our our formwork and first of all um, take back my my xyz plane to the to global position right there now i'll come to applications and components and i'll just type rebar here rebar or just instead of bar well, first of all start with the pad footing right here i want to use the pad footing reinforcement here i'll pick that because i used a pad footing tool to place the bottom end of our concrete 
water tank now i'll just select on the bottom end uh, slab click on that and give it some time there we are and we, we've placed uh, uh, steel bars on our slab but it's now we, we cannot view it to do to to have a transparent view you just press ctrl 2 and you will be able to see everything at the bottom end here i'll click rotate and rotate with using mouse and this is what we have these are still arranged at the bottom end slab so i'll not go so much in uh, resetting these bars but i'll just take you on a brief I want to change this height what i'll do i'll either change that i'll, I'll change it i change it from uh, from that end i just change uh, type 100 there and uh, it, it will move slightly down but not necessarily just our keys just to lay the formwork on our on this uh, simple structure of uh, underground water tank uh, concrete wall now we'll go to we'll go back i'll press ctrl 4 just to bring the the opaque uh or, or our previous pr uh, presentation of our model now i want to go back i want to place the reinforcement for our wall now i'll just type riba here riba or starter bar uh, starter bar i'll pick this one here double click on that and i made i had already made uh, a preset of that i'll just pick on it because we want to move slightly quick i'll pick on the part that i intend to place a mighty bar on Pla i'll select the object you can read down there i'll select my object this is my object and this is what we have I'll close this for now, but I'll be coming to it once again. I'll press Ctrl 2. And this is what we have. This is our first wall. Now we'll go to the second one. I'll pick on that and select on our wall right there. I'll pick on the one that wall. And pick on this wall here and pick on the other end you can select twice so that the rebars can appear on your concrete wall so this how it looks this is how our rebars looks on our concrete concrete wall on, on our concrete underground water tank so on the next on the next presentation we play some columns here with some beams running across to support the upper slab that will be acting as a as a top end closing our our underground water tank now this is how it looks now, let me just change the, the view first by pressing ctrl 4 and we go back to our formwork placement now i'll come here and just type uh, formwork just type any word that start with the, the tool that you want you intend to use and will be uh, it will uh, the program will bring variety of similar uh, tools that start with the same same word and it's upon you to pick on the appropriate one now i'll pick on this wall framework this is what i want to use now i'll uh, this is not the best that's not the best tool we want to use the wall framework here then i'll pick on that Perfect. and i'll pick on that wall two and i'll go ahead and pick on this wall also having made the appropriate setting i mean the height and uh, uh the arrangement of the clamps here and i'll pick that one the last one
okay here we are and uh, let me just right click and terminate that formwork tool i'll go back there to show you how you can set that to suit your requirements or the size of your slab let me just turn this round so you can have a closer look at it now this is how it looks click on empty screen and let me just turn this round like that this is a concrete wall of our water tank underground water tank if you're not confident enough with your with the with the support of this of these clumps you can lay you can add some reinforcement running all, all this f from the bottom end to the other end maybe you can uh, place a ribar here or you can place some timber here let me just uh, do, do a sample of that you can maybe place just uh, turn this round like that turn that round right click and uh, you can uh, you can place another one here it's not coming out but that's for another day now let me just turn this round now this how it looks this is how it looks Now, thanks a lot for watching this video and let's meet on the next presentation and if you're not if you're if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then bye bye i'm Morris Dimba.